Hello everyone. Today we're gonna continue with um, the paper uh, two. Yep. So today uh, there is an earlier video on tax one, tax two. Okay. So you can check our our YouTube channel for those ones. Uh, but here we have paper three and it's on database. So we're gonna talk about database today. Okay, so quickly, you are now going to prepare some reports. Uh, make sure all currency values display the same currency symbol and are set to two decimal places. And are set to two decimal places. Okay, so let's move forward. Using a suitable database package, import the file. is uh, book.csv. So let's quickly open the book to see what it looks like. Okay, books.csv. Okay, so why that is coming up? Use these field names and data types. Okay, use these field names and data types. Da, 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 da. All right, All right. So let's quickly examine this to see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, briefly. Okay, so we can just flip through it. Flip through it. Uh, you have auto, title, book ref, and all that. And all that, and all that. Okay. So you see, all right, so look through it. Take note, the pages column, uh, there are areas that don't have values, okay? So take note of that, uh, all right. So having seen it, we need to close it else. We will not be able to import. Okay, don't save. All right, so uh, we're going to import, of course, using Microsoft Access. So quickly call on Access, all right. Access it's loading now. Okay, blank. All right, so I'm going to save this with my name. Okay, candidates are advised to use their names to save this. You can add your your center number, your state, your your candidate number if you want, and then change change the directory to your workspace. Your workspace very important to your workspace. Do I have a workspace here? Okay, I think I do. Uh, desktop, I think it's P2, P2, okay. So that is my workspace. So save to your workspace right there. All right, and then you do create. Okay, so there we are. All right, um, so we're quickly going to import. Uh, quickly going to import, you go to external data, okay external data all right so there is um export and there's import you're going for this text file for import if you go this way this is for export so take note of that okay text file and then browse to the folder of course it's on my desktop so i'll go to the folder is p2 yeah there you are okay this is the box all right so i'll click on oven and then i'll do okay all right, so why that is coming up, uh, let's go to the question again. Okay, so these are the data types that we are asked to use. Okay, author, title, book, rev, publisher, format, code, all in all as text. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'll quickly go through that. So this is what you get uh, when you import. Okay, so you click on next. Um, first row contains field names, very important. Watch the difference. Can you see it? All right, so this first row becomes the field names. Okay, so you next it, and then um, you can change the data types here. Okay, so this auto for short text, very okay. Title for short text, very okay. Uh, book ref for short text, okay. Okay, yeah, because there are numbers and there are letters as well. All right, so you move on. Um, let's quickly scroll through. This one should be your short text. Uh, this one is integer, which is okay. So let's quickly refer. Uh, that's the release year number. Integer, very okay. Uh, price, currency. Price, currency will be preferred. So you go to price, you change this to currency. Okay, currency there. All right. Um, so let's look again uh number of items number of items is integer 
pages integer and then available boolean okay number of items integer uh, pages should be integer take note of that of integer yeah. all right and then the finally uh available available is yes or no all right next all right so uh instruction here says let set book ref field as a primary key and then you save your data book ref key as a primary key so you click on that you choose book ref got it all right so next next and then let me change the name i like taking out the code so the book is just there as the title books all right so i'll finish and then the file is saving while it is doing that let me go to my work say please in your evidence document screenshot evidence showing the field names and data types used in the table okay there are still a few things we need to do here quickly uh, just to check the type that they display and then to um, check the currency if they are in two decimal places. Remember, we told that here it must be in two decimal places. All right. So let's quickly go back to work. Okay. In, uh, import is over now. So I'll just click close. All right. If you notice, it has imported without errors. But if you import just with errors, then you need to go back and do it again. All right. So I don't need this till one. So I'll take that case. And then I will open this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Don't be afraid. Like I said earlier, don't worry about the pages. Some of them don't have uh, things in them. We confirm that from um, the CSV file that we looked at. The dot CSV file that we looked at. So I open this in Design View quickly. Um, once you do that, remember we're checking for price. Because price should be in decimal places. Okay, so I'll come here and then. I'll click and then I'll choose currency. So any of the currencies will be okay. So I'll choose this and then um decimal place you go to auto so decimal places go to this auto and then that is the decimal places. All right, so this is a number of items. Uh, okay, this one is the one that is boolean available. So you change this to true or false. Uh, is it true or false? No, no, yes, no. Sorry about that. All right, then we'll come here, look up okay text box will be okay text box will be okay if you put check box it is going to appear like a checkbox combo it's not also bad but let's leave it at check box all right so that is that so let us quickly save if open it in uh the chip that you all right so you see the current is showing in two decimal places it's uh, showing yes or no yes no yes no all right so i think we're good at this stage moving forward now all right um so we're through with this place evidence document okay in your evidence document screenshot showing the field names and data types used in the table so, so um you take this in design view you take this in design view okay i like to pick from the currency yeah that's price because the price will show me uh the two decimal places as instructed aha uh -huh. and then the yes or no is already shown here so this would be a good point to take my screenshot so i quickly call on my sniping tool sniping tool okay there you are okay so i'll use my sniping tool and then i'll snipe this including that all right this will be okay so i'll copy and then uh my evidence document is not open yet uh where's my evidence document okay. this is the one i've been using so i'm going to open the evidence document and then i'll paste it there so while i'm waiting for that to come up um import the file format the csv as new table in your uh, database okay so uh it hasn't opened yet why okay let's see Microsoft Word, what's your problem? Okay, there it is. Okay, um, evidence what again? Somebody help me. I think that should be evidence six. Uh, let me confirm that. Evidence six. Yes, evidence six. All right, right. So I'm quickly going to paste that there. Okay, you can reduce the size if you want to. Okay, but don't make it too tiny so that. Uh, 
so you so you reduce it <coughs> I'll make it too tiny all right um, I'll just uh, I'm trying to okay okay so moving forward um, so the next thing we're going to import the file okay format.csv as a new table in your database uh, set the type code field as a primary key now take note we're not told what uh, data types to use okay so it's left to our discretion to judge correctly all right so i'm going to quickly import that as a table okay so here we are um external data text file browse format right yes format open okay okay um okay here it is next first row contains field name check can you see that good okay first row all right so we move next and then uh what's the type code type code is the code right yes type code is the code as the primary key sorry okay so let's look this should be a text right this should be text uh drm should be text device a should be integer copy should be integer all right not a problem next okay choose primary key we're choosing this as the primary key okay next i like taking out the code like i said earlier so i'll take out the code and then i'll finish all right so why that is important we'll go through it so we are told to create a one-to-many relationship between format code in the books table and the type code in the format table so take note type code format table uh, format code in the books table uh, this is a relationship for those of you who know um, relationships uh, one to many many to many yeah okay so this would not be a problem all right moving forward okay so I'll close imported without errors good okay so um, now for you to create a, a relationship you need to close both of them anyways let's see what this one looks like okay so this is it okay all right so we need to close both of them else we will not be allowed to create a relationship so to create a relationship you go to database tools and then relationships all right so you select both of them and then you add and then you can close that all right so when you do that you will see um the type code in the format table and uh, the format code here so this is a primary key this is a foreign key all right so i'll pick this whole drag uh where are you okay there where are you where are you running to all right so i'll drop type code book code all right so i'll click on enforce uh referential integrity sometimes you can't really enforce especially um when it doesn't meet all the conditions all right but um let us try it if it doesn't work then we will have to take out we'll have to uncheck this box but however one to many relationship is showing here already so i'll just click on create okay it worked okay uh sometimes why dif different um, referential integrity doesn't work is because if you have values if you have values here but not all of the fields had values there referential integrity will not work all right so I will maximize the base so that we can see all of the fields okay i think uh this is the much there is here okay because you don't have any scroll any scroll bar there okay all right so um to take the screenshot we'll be asked to take the screenshot okay take the screenshot uh showing the evidence of the relationship okay in the two tables all right so to take the screenshot it is important to review um the uh the other window so i will right click on that right click on that and i'll do edit relationship okay so i'll place them side by side okay this under it then i'll take a, a, a screenshot of all of this so this is one to many okay that's one or more all right so i'll take the screenshot okay new all right take the screenshots good and then i'm going to copy that okay i'll paste it in my Evidence. This should be evidence seven. All right, there you are. 
of course you can reduce this don't make it too tiny so that the examiners can see what you have there okay so i'll just press enter and take this down okay so uh moving forward now <clears throat> all right so uh they add the following as a new record in the books database add the following as a new record in the books database okay so we are going to do this in design view before i go let me copy out this sorry for those of you who are writing the exams you won't have the liberty to copy because what you have what you're going to have is a hard copy so sorry let me cheat huh thank you just trying to make life easy for me okay so we've done this so we'll click on okay and then we'll close this save yes we want to save all right so um where did they say we should put in that value again i think it's in it should be in the books yeah it should be in books yes in the book table okay <clears throat> now there are uh, different types of views so you open that in the in the data sheet view and go all the way down all the way down and then you paste uh, i will paste and then you will type uh if for if you're in the exam okay title title is that okay uh book ref is that book ref is that okay um publisher is quiver publisher is quiver okay um where are we book uh, format code is that uh, format code format code is that what else release year 2015 release year 2015 um where are we okay price it price is that price um okay number of item is one and then pages uh that so okay so this is one and pages is that okay finally we have yes okay available is yes so yes we have the code one yes we have the code one so when you click it you see yes it has appeared this important to save uh please i always advise my students to save at each step you finish you save your work very important all right all right all right all right what we have next using fields from the books table produce a tabular report that selects the records where this uh where release year is is uh 2014 or 2015 price is uh, five or more available is yes shows only the fields title auto price release year and all that okay source da, da, da. okay now i need to inform you that from this point to that point you must do it with a query okay you must do it with a query else you won't be able to really achieve anything okay then you can do the race in your report yes i think that's possible uh yes no calculated field here so every every other thing should be done uh, so this is the query and then the rest is uh, the report okay so um all right <clears throat> so let's work that out this and that first and second bullet points okay so uh first of all we need to create a query to to extract these various uh fields from the two tables okay so um all right so we'll go to create um create where is uh, query wizard okay the query wizard simple query okay simple query okay so we need the uh let's follow it in the right order please we need title so the title will go in first and then the author will go in next uh, uh price and release here so price will go in next and then release here will follow suit all right so please watch where i click if you click on this two on this button it means uh you're taking everything in okay that's not what we want okay uh release here and then finally we have available and then the specificity in this order with data and labels displayed in full so in this order 
take note do not group the data uh, okay um available yeah okay so next okay next um okay next query okay books query let me leave it as that books books query okay finish okay so this is what you're going to have a whole lot of them all right so um there are other conditions too that they've stated there so this is just this second bullet point so we need to do this other the first bullet point and the sub point under them the release here has to be uh equal to 2014 or 2015 so you come here you open this in design view and then you go to release here where's release here there you are under criteria take note of that under criteria you now do um equal 2015 2014 or 2015 <coughs> all right so let's run the code and see what we have uh expression contains valid centers okay what did i not do well uh should this be am i right okay okay guys uh what did i not do right uh okay this shouldn't be there under criteria okay oh. Okay, so I was uh, I made a little mistake in the code. Um, I'm supposed to do this or equals twenty fifteen. Sorry, twenty fifteen. Okay, I don't like using this or here uh, because I've realized that uh, in over time it the code does not really run and give the expected results okay so i'm just going to run this quickly okay so this is what we have you will notice that here is uh greater than yeah uh, equal to greater than okay we've not done that we've done only yes sorry we've done only yes. so here is 2014 2015 only is that correct 2014 2015 only okay so i like to finish one uh one condition and then i run to check my result then it becomes easy for me to debug in case there's an error i can easily tell where the error is coming from okay so uh we've done for release here now we need to do for price price should be uh five or more that is equal to as greater than or equal to five okay so where is price price should be there okay so you can have greater than or equal to five okay please take note if you alternate that it won't work yup so this is what we have you can see that all the prices we have here uh, they are greater than or equal to five that's five all others are greater than five yes okay so let's open this back again in design view and then i hope i'm not talking too fast i'm trying to be fast here so i don't take too much time like i did in document production 
okay so um that's five okay so available is yes so let's go to available 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 where are you so available we're going to type yes is it just yes or equal to yes let me see let me confirm that if it is just yes or equal to yes okay equal to yes works all right so there we are so you see they are all yes 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 okay moving forward what else so we've done everything that we need to do in the query section now it is time for us to do the report section it is time for us to do the report section okay report says sort the data into descending order of price okay so we need to create a report uh has a page orientation of portrait fits on a single page okay let's do let's import the query the report sorry let's create a report and then we will satisfy the rest of the conditions okay so we're going to do create and then uh report wizard there you are uh, okay i've not saved yet so i'll say yes okay so this is the table that we need everything here so i'll pick them up remember all other tables are equalized query will also show okay so we do next and then uh, next and then you can sort here but the challenge is if if you sort in any order using any uh, field that field the field you sort with will now begin the table will now begin the table in that order so if the field is meant to be at the center you are you are going to change the location so in your report you end up a uh, uh, moving rearranging the fields again so i don't want that to happen so let us move forward all right so next remember they say it's a tabular uh, uh, i say table right aha uh -huh. so portrait so we've done that uh next aha uh -huh. please see this adjust the field with so uh, fitting to one page so when once this is clicked by default okay it will fit into one page so next uh query so i'll call this book query I won't call it report because it's not a report uh, uh, it's not sorry <laughs> sorry about that it, it's a report it's not a query okay so i'll do finish okay so why that creates i'll quickly go back and check um portrait we've done portrait so we need to sort now we need to sort in ascending or the descending order of price so we need to sort in descending order of price so this is what you have now take note that uh, the fields are not clearly showing so uh, some adjustment has to be made uh, very important some adjustments have to be made okay so i'll go to layout um i would want to adjust first before i will sort okay because it's not looking good like this so what you see you see you see you see okay so i need to adjust so what do i do first okay i can uh, hold my control key down while i select all of them i want them to move at once so i will have space there you are okay so um where are you this is available okay available showing clearly available adjust a bit okay yes 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 showing clearly okay after that um we need to move this also we need to move this also okay adjust this a bit okay so release here it has to show clearly nothing should be hidden okay release is showing okay clearly all right uh, uh let me adjust a bit more okay this is good uh, all right this is good so i'm going to adjust this also all right this is good and then i will adjust this also all right so i'll just scroll up scroll down and see what we have okay so we are okay here so i'm equally going to adjust this and adjust this okay so let's scroll up and down okay so this one seems to be showing clearly aha uh -huh. But this one this the title field is not showing clearly so i'll have to adjust this a little bit all right so does this look good it looks good oh records are showing data showing okay so this should also be adjusted as well okay so this look good um so we need to adjust this a bit so it can occupy the rest of the space so that everything here will show clearly okay everything seems to be showing clearly so we're good so we can now sort okay so to sort um to sort you come here you say add sort 
add sort okay we want to sort by price right is that not true is it ascending or descending order um sort data into okay descending order of price okay so where is price so that's price from smallest to largest is descending right no is ascending so we need to change this from largest smallest that's descending highest to lowest okay so um okay i, th I think it has reflected okay it has not reflected yet so we need to save and maybe open it in uh, report view so that uh, we can possibly see the effect okay it has taken effect already yes it has it has you see it you see it, it has taken effect already so if you had done this while you were creating the report this price field would have been the first field so that would require you to rearrange again okay so we didn't do that because uh, we didn't go through that stress because we we're able to sort that uh to do our sorting uh when the report has already been created okay moving forward um where are we has a page orientation of portrait okay i think we we did that while we were creating the report fits on a single page it fits on a single page right it fits on a single page you can see the page there so it fits on a single page all right um includes only the text uh book releases 24 as the title displayed in a large font size okay so i'm just going to copy this okay ah uh, yes so if you're a student please type it in thank you so you can change this even in report view you can change this okay so i'll take this out and then i'll paste what i got there all right so in case if you type it and it's not looking bold this is bold enough you can uh, you can increase the font size if you want you can make it bold if you want okay so this is okay all right what next uh calculates the average price and positions this under the price column okay calculate the average price and displays it on the displays the average price value to two decimal places with the same currency symbol as the price field okay so the average price should be calculated all right so this is what we'll do this is the price column so we want it calculated under it right okay so it should show under here so once you click on that you go to is it design design yes you go to design okay you see here this uh, will show you functions okay this is for average so you want the average once you click on there the average is going to appear all right so scroll down and you will see the average that's the average price okay so I haven't done that what next okay calculate average we've done that in one column price under the price column exactly displays this price value to two decimal place with the same currency symbol i think uh, that still happened uh, by default it will happen so we are supposed to copy this has a label to the left okay so this label is supposed to appear there so please in the exam you're typing no oh, thank you so but to do this uh, let's open in design view please we we'll have to open this in design view okay so this is the formula that was used okay so i'm going to expand it uh, just in case they want to see the equation all right all right so i will also expand this a bit so the text is supposed to appear by the left right okay so to add a text uh, you use labels okay to do that you go to design you pick label you see just hover the mouse around it the name is going to appear you see label okay so you click on it and then you type it <laughs> yes i pasted mine sorry type your own student okay in the exam you're going to type so learn how to type fast okay so um that's that okay what else what else what else what else to the left okay does not display a page number when printed does not display page number so you see page numbers uh page numbers okay so you need to delete that you need to delete that quickly uh the date what well, they didn't specify that date should be there so you can choose to delete this or leave it at that but if you're deleting this if you're leaving it make sure that your time please it's an important thing for all examiners check the time and the date of your systems make sure that they are correct because these things are going to be used to 
to if your date it does not match with the date that the exam was taken uh it will be seen as exam malpractice they will, they will send you a mail and ask you when exactly did the exam take place please take note of that okay so um we've done that where are we okay has the label we've done that no page number not display so to confirm that the page number is not displaying we can view this in report view or layered view as the case may be all right so scroll down you see that the page number is no longer displaying but the date i did this work is displaying here all right uh -huh. so this is the date i did this job so it's displaying uh -huh. so take you note. Know, so if you don't want date to appear you can delete that um, okay from the design view all right has your name center number candy number at the bottom of the report at the bottom of the report name center number candy number at the bottom of the report okay so we'll go back to design view okay so we'll go the bottom of the report so that should be the 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 report footer not the page footer page footer if your job is like 10 pages it will appear in 10 different pages whatever you add in here but this is the report footer so whatever you put in here will appear once in the final report so um i've expanded it a little bit so i'm gonna get a label uh click here and put in my name okay uh uh, center number center number okay so i like using one zero zero candidate number zero zero one okay so make sure you do not make mistakes here uh, it is a serious offense you, you may not even see your results believe me okay so uh save your work very important to do that okay so where are we uh we've done that already save and print your reports okay so you save and then you print evidence aid place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the database formula used to calculate the average price so evidence aid all right so let's go back so this is the formula they are looking for so they want to see this so you you screenshot as usual okay or you snipe or whatever tool you have on you okay so you can try to capture the two of them and of course they can see the average the formula you used okay so that's evidence eight so i'll drop it there pasted it okay moving forward now moving forward now uh, where are we uh using fields from both tables produce a tabular report that selects the records we are publisher okay so as usual there are parts that should be queried and there are parts that you produce with a report okay so select the records where so this should be report uh, query contains a new field query okay shows only the fields book ref query mm, sorts anything sorts can be done whether in query or, or or the report okay so i prefer to do them after i've generated the report okay okay sort the data and as any other da, 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 da. so every other thing can be done in your report okay so let's begin okay so let the record we are publisher uh, okay so let's look for the fields that we need first shows only the fields book ref publisher title author book type da, 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 that in this order okay so we're looking for book ref and publisher and title okay book ref publisher title so i will open this report view we're done with this all right um create a report no query wizard sorry query wizard cancel that we need to query first query wizard simple query next okay so what are the things we need we need uh book ref publisher title so look for book ref book ref publisher title okay what next book ref publisher title auto book type release date auto book type release date auto book type okay book type is not here so you need to go to the other table format that's where you get the book type book type then release date is in the books table so release date release year sorry okay any other thing check again uh release year then price and book tax price and book tax price okay price there book tax now here so you go to the format book book tax okay book tax should be the field that is calculated at runtime okay contains a new field okay, 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 yeah yeah 
so we will attend to this so we're done at this stage so we'll come back to visit this later okay all right so we we'll do next okay um next uh this is a report so book report two i'll just call this book report book report sorry report two <laughs> Book report two okay and then i'll finish all right so this is the query that i have um let's confirm if they're in order again so let me just uh, minimize this a little bit okay let's confirm if they're in order uh book ref publisher title author book tab release year price book tax okay so the book tax will add later on all right good okay so what are we doing now? We're calculating a new field. It contains a new field called book tax, which is calculated at runtime, displayed with the same currency format as the price field. This field will calculate the price plus 10% of the price. So this will be equal to price plus 10% of the price. So open this in design view. Uh, yeah, in design view. Okay, so uh, let's go to the end of the table. All right, so this will be price, okay? So you have price plus 10%. 10% is 0 0.01, right? Price 10% is 0 0.01, 100 over 100. At 10 over 100, sorry about that. Okay, so you're supposed to have equals, you're supposed to have, uh, sorry, price, price, uh plus 0 0.01 okay now watch when you press enter this is not uh, exactly the 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 entry you're supposed to have here but this is the formula that is supposed to give you um the data okay so when you press enter you're going to have this showing express expression one so this expression one is supposed to be the title of the field the field name so they say that it should be book book tax right book tax okay book tax book tax okay so let me go over again uh contains a new field called book tax which is calculated at runtime and displayed with the same currency formatting as the this we will calculate the price plus 10 percent of the price so you have the price then you add the 10 percent again of the price okay so which is what we've done so this is the price uh, plus 10 percent of it okay no we're not completely done oh hold on Okay, hold on, please. Let me confirm this. Uh, all right. So I had to pause a little to think about the question. <laughs> Sorry, so I don't take so much time in the video. Okay, so um, so you do the price plus 10% of the price. The price plus 10% of the price. So this is what you're supposed to have. This is the price and then plus 10%. Okay, plus 10% of the price. So 10% becomes the price times 0 0.01. Okay, the price times 10% of it. Okay, so when you run, you're supposed to have this. Okay, remember we've not reduced this to two decimal places, so we need to do that. Okay, all right, so uh, that's, okay, so, and then the the feed price. Uh -huh. So we've done this part okay we've done this part and of course i think they included that it must be in the same decimal place as the price i thought i saw that somewhere okay contains a new field which is calculated at runtime and displayed with the same currency formatting as the price field currency formatting so it should be the same currency okay so let's go back um what view should this be uh, let's go to design view let's go to design view 
quickly quickly look at uh, Okay, we are going to do um, the the um, the currency symbol in the report. Okay, we will do that in the report. So meanwhile, let us we can take we will do that in, in the report, including uh, the decimal place if we want to. Okay, uh -huh. so we can do both of them there. But let us do the decimal place here. Okay, I will also show you where you could have done the decimal place if you want to do it in the report. Okay. So this is two. Okay. I just observed that um I choose for me, I choose the wrong title for the books. This should be the books query two, not the books report two. So but I can change the I can change this later. Okay, so let us quickly um open this in data sheet view and see if that has changed. Okay, it hasn't changed yet. Okay. Uh let me do that one more time and see. If I should just leave it and do it in the report, okay. Um, so I'll go to design view, I'll uh, pick it up. So, uh, let me see what's here currency, okay. Currency, currency, currency two decimal place. So, let me run the query again and see, okay, it has obeyed. Good, 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 good. So, we won't have to do it in the report anymore, but I'll still show you where you could have done it if you wanted to do it there. Okay, so I'll close this. I will close this. Uh, say yes to save everything, and then I'll just quickly change this. I'll quickly rename this. Is the place okay? There it is. So I'll change this to query two, query two, query two, query two. Okay, that is it. All right. Um. So let me open it again because we're not done with it. Okay. So um, let's go back to our work. And um, this is what we have here. Okay, so we've done, we've satisfied these conditions here. So we've satisfied these conditions here, remaining this other condition, publisher. So the record must, must select records where publisher includes the word digital. Publisher includes the word digital. So um, remember, this is where we stopped, right? Okay, so publisher must include the word digital. So let's quickly go open this in design view. Uh, go to publisher publisher where are you criteria must be equal to digital right did they say include please let's check includes the word digital so that means the word digital can be either at the beginning or at the end or somewhere in the middle at the beginning or at the end or somewhere in the middle okay so we need to be very careful here there is a syntax you need to use here Think use asterisk uh, digital digital and then asterisk. So I think it implies that um let's run it and be sure. Okay, so uh, just to be sure there will be a little change here. I'll hit the tab key. Okay, so access has added the like for me. Okay, so you see here that um star asterisk asterisk there simply refers to there could be words before it, there could be words after it. Uh, so digital can begin digital can enter anywhere as long as there is digital please show it for me okay so let's run to see what we have okay so let's look for it digital let me expand this digital is there you see digital digital whether in front behind uh, or even in the middle digital still okay so you can expand all of this if you want to all right so you see it digital 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 it contains the word that is what that I means includes the word digital okay later than release is later than so it should be greater than greater than two two thousand and eleven okay so let's run our code again let's run again to see what we have okay greater than 2011 so more than that is right uh release year release year is later than 2011 all right so we'll satisfy the condition so we we'll quickly need to move up to um the rest of the work all right so we'll have to create our report now 
um so we'll go to create uh we'll click on report wizard okay so we'll click on report wizard and then uh, this is this is the report we want to make the the query we want to make the report of so we'll push all of them in and then next 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 uh, we are going to sort later okay we're not sorting now we'll sort later uh, next uh, this is a landscape okay so adjust the field with so with so all fields fit um one page okay so leave this as checked okay this and then i like to give it books report two books report two okay all right so that'll be all i'll finish it up okay so that's what i have okay so that's the much i have it fits on one page as requested okay so what we need to adjust this so that uh, all of the data are showing clearly so i'll do that in layout view i'll do that in layout view i think i'm going to do it from here uh, i think i have more space this and i'll click on that and hold my control key down and click on the data and then i'm going to reduce that scroll through to check everything looks good okay i will do the same here okay i'm going to do the same there all right so i'll click on the publisher click on the data under it bring it down there take it this way all right scroll through scroll through okay i think we need to do some adjustment here scroll through scroll through check here again it's okay scroll through okay this looks good all right so um the title also needs to be adjusted the title needs to be adjusted okay so i'll scroll through and scroll through and scroll through okay so i think we can change from here mine uh, okay there all right so click on this on the auto click on the title enter i can move them if i want to okay all right at once uh, well, sometimes i like to Okay, I'll just hit the control Z button. Sometimes I just like to do it uh, gradually. Okay, select the book uh, type and then I'll look all the move. Okay, and then I can reduce this. So scroll through to check if all data are appearing correctly. Okay, they are. I'll move forward. Okay, so I have what's left, the book here left. Okay, you see I did it one after the other. So you can choose to you can choose to do it at once okay so i need to reduce them a bit all right so this looks good scroll down scroll through it see everything if everything is all right okay everything looks good okay so let's uh sort now we need to sort. okay landscape okay so this is the title includes only the text digital publisher publishing as a title okay so i'll select that uh please you're typing it uh, <laughs> in the exam you're going to type it so i'll quickly open uh sorry open click on the title and then i'll change the title to that okay i can make it bold if i want to just click on it and go to home you see bold okay all right what next um has your name center number can number at the footer of the report so it displays on every page footer of the report so it displays on every page footer of the report so open this in design view all right so when you do that the footer this is the footer of the report it appears on every page so if you want anything to appear on every page you put it at the page footer not the report footer report footer it will only appear once at the end of the report do i need this date i don't need this date but if you want to leave the date make sure you must have adjusted the time the time of your computers make sure you've adjusted the time of your system so it is uh, very correct it has to show the date that the exam was taken the disk will be used as an evidence against you if it is showing the wrong time so i'll go to layout um, label sorry and then i'll click here so I can enter my name, Uche Namdi Nicholas. Okay, I'm just leaving that N and then my center number, my candidate number. All right, so that'll be it. 
so you can run this report view and see what you have okay so this looks good all right so you see so the page numbers are showing you so you can delete the page number you can delete the date all right um has a page number for the report so 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 that's that so you print out your work okay so uh, different between computer hardware and software so i'm quickly going to do that now um the hardware is the physical component components or device while the software is the collection of instructions or programs okay so that's point one mm, you can have another point if you want okay mm, so that's for two marks but let's make it a point um the the hardware can be seen Okay, let me say it can be touched while the software cannot be touched anyways okay cannot be touched all right okay uh, example give one example of hardware one example of software okay quickly example of hardware and you have lots of them mouse keyboard uh, monitor monitor projector a whole lot of them yes yeah, so software uh, you have operating system operating system translators translators and a whole lot of them okay translators uh, utility programs okay utility <laughs> utility programs okay so that's that um okay save your work save your evidence document all right, so that's it. Type in the okay, so we've done the number than 50 words. Okay, so this is where we'll end for now. We will come back with um a video on mail match and then presentation. Okay, we'll do that quickly. So I want to thank you all for your time. Thank you for listening, for watching. Please like our page, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification button so when next we upload the video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you all very much for your time. I'll see you later. Bye.